Hi guys, so it's almost 525,600 minutes ago, or if you prefer, one year, that like you, I was scrolling through YouTube watching some videos on how to paint things and make things, and I stumbled across the video by the Honest Wargamer, and it was called The Slap Chop Technique, the best way to paint miniatures fast. And it's fair to say that that one video changed, well, this channel for sure, and obviously my love and enjoyment of painting miniatures. And as you can see, this dude here, yeah, he was painted slap chop style and <laughs> about 15 minutes, guys, which is absolutely nuts. As I used to spend hours and hours painting things, hated every minute of it, and the result was, well, pants would be an understatement. But here we are, almost one year later, and yeah, I can paint things that look like this, which is just amazing. So, obviously, these things start off primed in black. And I use the Color Forge matte black for this because it really is, well, it's the mattest black that I've got. Don't forget, guys, there are links down below to everything I use sort of in my, uh, my building, painting, and all the rest of it. And yeah, good old textured dry brush palette. I've had a bit, bit of an upgrade with my one, and I've included a normal sort of paint palette on the side there as well. So I know this technique of painting isn't sort of new, and it's been around, well, hundreds of years. But obviously, like most things, it's always new to you if it's the first time you've sort of stumbled across it, which is what happened to me, I say, a year ago. Um, and yeah, the difference this has made, it's given me so much more confidence in painting. Uh, so much so to the extent of I like to try new styles of painting out because I kind of know in my mind, if it all goes wrong, then yeah, I've always got the slap chop sort of method to fall back on, which is just awesome. So anyone who hasn't seen this before, um, yeah, simple case. Prime your miniature in black, do some dry brushing. I did used to do dry brushing in grey and then white. Uh, but yeah, I kind of dropped the grey because, well, pretty much most of the white dry brushing I do does go over the grey anyway. And I've not really noticed any difference in how these miniatures come out in any kind of way. So yeah, as you can see, uh, dry brushing him. And the great thing is when you do that, it does bring out all the detail definition in the miniature. And this miniature was by Mr. Modulork. Again, link down below, guys, as well. I love orcs. And this guy, that's all he does, orcs. Lots and lots of lovely orcs and goblins, which is uh, pretty cool. And yeah, using the good olds, I'm using Army Painter Speed Paints here. But obviously any kind of contrast paints by, well, Vallejo, Green Stuff World. There's a whole variety of them out there now. Uh, and yeah, it's that simple. You just paint over the thing. Um, yeah, this thing couldn't be any simpler if it tried. And I say the results, again, not for everyone. Uh, this is where, obviously, when it comes to painting, we all have our own likes, dislikes, and all the rest of it. Uh, but for me, this is just amazing. And I could never have got this kind of like detail, definition, shades, highlights, um, any kind of other way than, uh, than doing a snap chop technique, which is just great. So, Runic Grey, I love this. Um, this paint, say, with the speed paints, I do have my favourites. And this is definitely one of them, because it really does give the kind of like a jean material sort of look when you paint it. Uh, I did do two coats of this, just because this is really one that is kind of like translucent, watered down, whatever the term is. Um, so yeah, Runic Grey, I do two coats, but when you put it on something, it does make it look like it's, well, in this case, a pair of jeans. So I quite often get comments and, well, even the emails from you lovely guys telling me just how much the Slap Chop painting technique and obviously my videos have sort of helped got you back into painting, which is something I absolutely love hearing. Um, yeah, so guys, let, let me know down below. Did you uh, get into this because of my, my video or any other person's video? Um, and is this something that's got you back into the hobby um, and enjoying it? Because I know obviously a lot of people that struggle with eyesight or even sort of tremors in their hands, this sort of technique does work well for them uh, because it is fairly forgiving and obviously it's easy to do as in well i can do it um yeah pretty much anyone can do it so i know i do go on about obviously the speed uh that you can paint miniatures in this way and i know it's not a race um obviously we paint things as a hobby for fun uh but yeah sometimes when you're doing like a full team then yeah but having some sort of painting technique that is fast and quick um yeah, is kind of what we need at the time. I mean, you can, obviously, this is kind of like a start, as I always say. Uh, you get the miniatures painted this way. It's a great start. Like, you can use them on your tabletop board gaming, all the rest of it. But if you want to then go in, add more details, do more highlights, uh, blending of different colors, all the rest of it, then, yeah, you've got a lovely sort of base to start with. 
or if like me you're very happy and content with how these look which I certainly am um, yeah job done as you can see there are still a few sort of times that I use normal paints generally these are on the teeth and the fingernails and this is mainly because obviously I've normally gone over the fingernails and sometimes the teeth with a different color so yeah I use like a bone sort of color over the teeth uh, and they're the silver even though they are metallic paints um, the silver that I've got by Speed Paints or Army Painter is quite a dark silver um, and I kind of wanted a bit more of a, a vibrant sort of uh, well a nicer lighter brighter silver although you will see in a second I do obviously anything that I do 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 uh, that isn't with the Speed Paints I do then go over with a bit of a wash just to uh, well to dirty it up give it some shadows and shades and all the rest so yeah this guy is looking awesome uh, this is hair to do and I think as you guys probably know by now orange is kind of my favorite color um, but yeah the army painter orange whilst isn't bad uh, I do prefer the contrast one by Citadel just because it's uh, it's more of a vibrant sort of stronger orange and this is what I say in quite a few of my videos you will find some of the paints uh, certainly work or look better than, than others so I'm going to put on some good old Agrax Earthshade. Um, so this is just going to go on the colours that weren't speed paints. So in this case it is just the teeth, uh, fingernails and shoelaces. Um, and the other silver. So this will obviously just add some sort of like shadows and shading. And well, basically just sort of dirty it up so it doesn't look too neat and too clean. Uh, but yeah, so this dude, literally, say guys, I know I've said it before, 15 minutes or so. Obviously that's not including the... Um, the spray in, in the black because obviously when you prime it you need to let it dry uh, but this is purely from once I started painting um, but yeah 15 minutes can't go wrong I say honestly I would spend hours painting something and it never got any better if anything I think the more time I spent on them something the worse it kind of got so just gonna sort of lighten up his lips uh, with a bit of this pink uh, but this is really good because this is the old um, the airbrush paint so it's already been thinned down which is which is really cool. So I'm using this just on his lips. I use a little bit on his ears, um, as well as the uh, the sort of the knuckles. I, uh, I use a little bit of this to sort of lighten a few areas up. And yeah, very pleased with how he's come out. And I think it's time to sort of see him in a bit more of well all his glory. And there we go, almost one year of painting in the slap shop painting technique. And yeah, I have painted hundreds of miniatures. So not only obviously does this give me the confidence in painting obviously single miniatures, but it also means I don't mind doing batch painting of, well, like the kill teams. And that's why I've done so many kill teams because, well, I thoroughly enjoy painting them because I know they are going to get good results and it's nice and quick. Okay, a big thank you and shout out to my lovely patrons and Chaos Cards, as well as the Colour Forge for helping support the channel. There are links down below guys if you want to help uh, do so as well. There's another video on the screen, give that a click. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. You guys take care and well, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.